exciting all season long. Don't count out the zero of Ron Casto. Hugh Bowser starting up towards the front. He's going to be one to watch as well. So, well, here we go. We're off at turn number four. Well, count out Ron Castro as he pulls into the infield in that white number zero. Green is over underway. Look at the 23 from Andy's jump on the gas. But look at the problem. He goes high up into the corners, off the pace. And that gives a lead to the number 70 of Lenny Guy. He comes to the outside and takes over the top spot. Now look has got some momentum going. He comes back to the outside of Vanessa, tries the outside of Fitzgerald for Andes, and tries to take over the second spot. Frisco stuck in traffic deep in the field. So is the number 35 of Dan Perry. But the 61 of Mike Bordeaux is going 3-4 wide on his way towards the front. He also is the 0-1 of Tom Kelly. One of the only rear-wheel drive cars working his way forward, spreading the needle as he gets underneath the eight of Vincent and his way towards the front. But out front, Lenny Guy sets the pace. The idiom will look now in second, closing in as they head into turn number three. About a half a car length back sets his sights on the leader off of turn four. Single file, they come now. Malouk looks to the outside, gives him a tap as they head into one and two. And Malouk backs up as we've got a car on the wall. Billy Prisco along the front straightaway. Please return to the seating area. I know we're all anxious to get ready with the fans on parade. If we could have everybody please return to their seating area. That is per the seat. But again, off the fourth corner, looking for the green flag. Eddie Moran lets it fly. And hammers it down. They're back underway. Coming up through the gearboxes. The number 80 does not lose any spots that time. As Eric Malouk battles to the outside of Lenny Guy. They battle side by side. Fernandes gets kicked up into the third roof. Loses a whole bunch of positions down the back straightaway. But up front, Lenny Guy again takes back the lead. Mike Vanessa in the number three. Battles to the inside. And Malouk takes over position number two. Look at Canberra deep in the pack. Three and four wide. Trying to get his way. He goes by Dan Perry. Now sets his sights on the outside of Michael Vaines in the number 85. Off the fourth corner, your leaders come. Lenny Geist still controlling the pace. Vanessa's gathered him in. Now sits on the back bumper as they come off the turn. Four settles back in behind. Vitello's up to third. Fourth is the 28 of Dave Molding. Malouk still holds on a fifth, but here comes Hugh Bowser in the number 22 as he works three wide around Malouk and Fitzgerald in the 0-3. So a lot of battling going on deep in the field. Down the back straight away they go. Look at Vanessa on the outside. He's got some momentum going. Here he comes to the outside. Patello now moves to the inside as they come off a turn number four, trying to settle him back in, trying to keep these cars rolling along. Hugh Bowser has got the momentum in the second and third groove. Dan Perry points to still mired back in the field. Ain't losing any ground to anybody, though. He's still leading the points battle. Off the fourth corner they come. Vitello now takes over position. Number two sets his sights on you. Little look to the inside. A guy settles it back in. Here comes Bowser on the outside. Here comes the 28 of Molding to the inside. Five cars battling for the lead. Three wide for third place. Dan Perry's got a problem. And that number 35 looks like he's got a flat left rear tire. Here come your leaders off a turn for a two wide. As a 51 of Vitello trying to get to the inside. Ready guy still holds the outside. We've got a new leader down the back straightaway. Bill Botello sets the pace now. Here comes Dave Molding in the number 28 to the inside. Guy still sits in third. Bowser and Vanessa top five. Dan Perry, it's not a flat tire. It's a bent rim in the left front. He's going to call it an evening. He goes into the pits. But Botello sets the pace. Dave Molding sits in second. Here comes Hugh Bowser to the inside of Letty Guy. They come off at turn number four. They get the cross flags. Halfway down. Halfway to go. Ten down. Ten to go. Bill Botello sets the pace. After starting deep in the pack, he started 11th on the field. And now he sets the pace. Molding sits in second. Bowser to the outside for that second spot. He's trying to work his way. Checker or a record. Bowser now to second spot as he looks to the outside of Molding. Side by side off a turn number two. And the 22 of Bowser takes over second position. Here he comes up on your leader to the outside. The momentum groove is what we call it because that's what you need to take on the outside and Hugh Bowser looks like he might have just edged him at the line. Down the back straight, here they go. Hugh Bowser is now firmly in the lead. Vitello back to second. Bowser still sits in third. Down for fourth as Lenny Guy goes right off the turn four. Great job saving it. He sells it back in, but loses a whole bunch of positions thanks to Vanessa in the number three. 
one. Battle for second now. The 28 of Dave Molding looks to the inside of Patello. Let's him close the door. Opens it back up. Here comes Molding on the inside. They battle side by side. That's the second position off of turn two. They come Molding on the inside. The purple, silver, gold, and black. Number 28 takes over position two. The blue, number 51. Back to the outside. Five to go this time by Hugh Wrecker. Chucker Bowser setting the pace. Molding in for second. Patello, Vanessa, and Milwaukee at top five cars. Down the back straightaway one more time. The lead starts to thin out as the 22 of Hugh Bowser now has almost a half a straightaway lead over the 28 of Dave Molding. Watch the line. Molding is running. Sticks that car down in the low groove. Off the corner, keeps it down low on the straightaway. That could be hurting him his line, maybe a little bit. Could be helping him. It's hard to say what he would be turning if you compare it to the line that Hugh Bowser is running. He lets it drift up the racetrack off the corners. The normal groove, what you see most drivers running. Not to say Molding's run is bad. Off of turn number four, they come. Bowser putting Souza a lap down. Two to go this time. The sticks are up for Bowser, Molding, and Batello, your top three. Vanessa still sits in fourth. Malouk slows off the fourth corner. Vance Camber now rides into the fifth spot. Camber up from his 22nd starting spot up to fifth. Off the fourth corner, your leader comes. White flag is out. And the 22 of Hugh Bowser's got four more left-hand turns. Lenny Guys in the going to take another feature win in 1998. Just about to put his team in a lap down. Second will be the 28 of Dave Molding. Third, the 51 of Vitello. Fourth, it's going to be a dogfight. And Vanessa just holding off the 17 of Lance Campbell. So Hugh Bowser, car number 22 out of Taunton, Mass. The Dave Luigi owned Dave's Custom Woodworking car number 22. Hugh Wrecker or Checker Bowser taking down another win in 1998. <laughs> passing over the uh, scales with the number 22 car. So once again, Hugh Bowser makes it to the Formula 4 feature win here this evening. <laughs> and one more time, let's hear it for Hugh Bowser. <laughs> 